Greetings and welcome. This is Christopher. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a solar light in a shipping container. So, this will be a full installation. So first, I'm going to show you what I have here. This is the solar light. What I've done, it's a 1.25 soft drink bottle. The soft drink has been emptied out and water has been filled up and then I added a small amount of regular bleach so that the water doesn't get discolored or any algae growth or anything like that when it's in use over time. So what I did was this is a like a heat gasket and this gasket is important so that water doesn't come through around the lighting fixture once you've installed it. So this gasket was about $10 for us. You could probably find them a lot cheaper. This particular gasket would be able to probably fit a two liter bottle, but we're just using a 1.5. So I cut out the hole just with my leather man. Just be careful to not make any cuts into the rubber where it might split. So just take your time and do it carefully. Cut out like a little bit at a time. Just don't cut out too much. So you want a nice tight fit on the bottle. So what I, after I prepared the bottle with the water and the bleach, I put this gasket upon it, slid it down, and then you can see this twine. I've got it to the appropriate height that I wanted it. And I was happy with this height. And then I've added some twine around here and I used like a tube of super glue to tie that around. Now the reason I did that is that this gives some retention on the bottle when it is in position and that way because the bottle is heavier on the bottom side it's going to be about three quarters of the way sticking through the container. This twine will act as like a stopper so that the bottle won't slip through the gasket. So that's why I did it. And it's worked well for us. We've had no bottles slipping or anything like that so far. So that's all that's involved in the first step. Okay, so now you pick out which site you want to install the solar light and this is where we want it. So I'm just going to mark out roughly. You need to have it bigger too big. So I'm just going to mark that out so I can cut it with the angle grinder. You don't want to go beyond the dimensions of your gasket. Just enough to get the bottle through is fine. Okay, so that's marked out. Now I'll uh, Cut it out with the angle
small. Uh, you just want to grab a file and just like so it's not sharp. So when you're cutting this out with the angle grinder, just be careful what's underneath because it will throw sparks on the underside of the container. Blow away any metal dust because that rust is really So now we can put our bottle inside, our solar light, and it fits in nicely. And it's going to sit something like this. So now we can work out the dimensions press it down nicely and now you can work out the dimensions of where we're going to put our holes to attach this gasket on the roof. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with where that's sitting. So I'm just going to take the drill and we're going to have to pre-drill some holes with a relatively small drill bit. I'll show you the screws we're going to work with. These are galvanized screws but, and they come with a small gasket on them and they're for roofing, metal roofing. They have a, they don't look like the standard screw for wood. So yeah, you still need to pre-drill the holes though. like a standard drill to drill those holes but I prefer to use an impact driver to put the the actual screws in it may not be entirely necessary but if you have one available they're useful so now I've got a the hole drilled I'm just gonna get this stuff down and make sure it's lined up I'll just work on doing one at a time to finish this off. it up, get rid of that dust because that does rust pretty well. Fuses 
a 5 16 uh, bit to like fit on the end of these so it goes in with good power. Silicone. Now you want to just silicone around all of the edges. This will pretty much finish up the job. Where there's like bigger gaps, obviously put more in. This gap here is actually probably big enough for like a two liter bottle, but we're just using a 1.5 with it. So this one. Just gonna prevent any water coming in. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna push this down and it'll stay like this. So that's completely finished. The solar light is done. That was all that was involved in doing it and I'll give you the view of it from inside the container. All right, so this is the final product up there coming through it's giving out a fair fair amount of light in here this is during the day but we have one other solar light it's the same size 1.25 but it's only in about halfway whereas this one we were in about three quarters of the bottle which is a lot better so it's giving a nice amount of light for us in here we can see a lot better without any lights on. So this is going to save you power. Um, you don't need electricity. You don't need solar to have at least basic lighting during the day inside your container. It's relatively simple to do. Um, cost of the materials, depending, depending upon how much you can find the gasket for, 5 to $10 for the gasket, a couple of dollars of silicone, or $5 if you need a tube. It doesn't take much. You need the drills, the drill bits, a few roofing screws. Um, so, quite a cheap, cheap light, about ten dollars or so, ten or fifteen dollars, and about half an hour of work for yeah, a really nice light that'll last you. Should last you multiple years. Our other solar lights have been going on over a year and they're doing well. So. Just wanted to show you that and how easy it was to do in a container. It's probably even easier to do in other types of roofs which aren't as difficult to get through with the angle grinder and the drill. So thank you for watching. May God bless you and your families.